Even years after his passing, new stories about the life of Elvis Presley continued to emerge. Elvis had a dramatic and unstable romantic life, filled with famous partners, marriages, and rumors. This has made his love life a topic of great interest and fascination. Did you know that Elvis Presley once got his girlfriend pregnant while he was still married? If you're curious about it, then keep on watching. People can't stop talking about Elvis Presley's love life because he was a legendary musician and a major cultural figure in America. Fans were super interested in his private affairs, especially his relationships with women, and they followed every detail closely. On top of that, Presley's love life was pretty dramatic with a lot of high-profile marriages and rumored affairs. All of this has fueled ongoing interest in his personal life with books, documentaries, and articles constantly digging into the details of his romantic escapades. We all know that Elvis, the king of rock and roll, had a tough childhood that stayed with him throughout his life. He had some pretty strong views that were shaped by his past, especially when it came to moms. See, Elvis was really devoted to his own mother, Gladys Presley, and put her on a pedestal. That's why he thought of all mothers as something sacred and holy. Back in the day, it was pretty common for rock stars to hang out with teenage groupies. Elvis was no exception. Usually, he'd lose interest pretty fast. But there was one special girl he met, Priscilla. In the 1950s, Elvis Presley became a household name thanks to his smash hit, Heartbreak Hotel, and his pioneering contributions to the rock and roll genre. However, his skyrocketing career was abruptly halted in 1958 when he was drafted into the U.S. Army. After serving his country for two years, Presley made a triumphant return to the entertainment industry in the 1960s, both through recording new music and starring in movies. They met when Elvis was stationed in Germany during his military service. Priscilla was just 14 years old at the time, and Elvis was already in his mid-twenties. Despite the big age difference, Elvis was smitten with her stunning blue eyes, dark hair, and dainty figure. Even though the media tried to make their relationship seem innocent, they were actually pretty intimate right from the start. Elvis was really into Priscilla, and they had a passionate romance that lasted for over seven years. Finally, they got married in a ceremony at the Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas on May 1, 1967. After seven years together, Elvis and Priscilla had a daughter named Lisa Marie Presley on February 1, 1968. You might think that having a kid would bring them closer, but actually, it did the opposite. Elvis wasn't really into being a dad, and things started to go downhill from there. Eventually, they got divorced on February 1972, after growing more and more distant over time. Back in the day, it was pretty common for famous guys like Elvis to have a side piece. So it's not too shocking to learn that he was having an affair with someone else while he was married. Her name was Joyce Boba, and she worked for the U.S. House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. Such story was told by Joyce Boba, who had a romantic relationship with Presley in the past. Boba's account helps fill in some gaps in the story that even Priscilla Presley's autobiography couldn't explain. She revealed details about their secret affair. Bova, who used to be Presley's girlfriend, recently shared some insights about their relationship. She revealed that she met Presley in 1969 while working as a Capitol Hill staffer. Although Presley was married at the time, they started a relationship that lasted for a few years. In an interview with Elvis Information Network, Bova spoke about what it was like to be with Presley. She said she was initially drawn to his piercing blue eyes and how he seemed to be humble about his good looks. However, their relationship was not without its challenges and they had their fair share of heated arguments and Presley's drastic mood swings. Despite these challenges, Bova claimed that she loved him deeply. However, she felt that she needed to walk away from the relationship, Bova stated. As much as I loved him, I needed a life too, and adding, he was all-consuming. Elvis and Joyce met when she was on vacation in Las Vegas, and he was there too. Like his wife, Joyce was also short, had black hair, and a beautiful face. 
but what really drew Elvis to her was that she had a twin sister. Elvis had a twin too, but unfortunately, his brother died at birth, which was a huge trauma for him. According to the Baltimore Sun, Bova claimed that she had a unique relationship with Presley. She said that he had a big ego, but was still friendly and approachable to everyone. However, Bova didn't like the fact that Presley wanted her to always be available for him. She stated, He wanted me at his beck and call, but it was important for me to be my own person, and it baffled him how he could not control me. Elvis and Joyce had a connection on a few different levels, so they started seeing each other in different places, including Elvis's famous mansion, Graceland. They kept it up for about three years, from 1969 to 1972. During that time, Joyce got pregnant with Elvis's baby. She wrote out their relationship in her 1994 memoir, Don't Ask Forever, My Love Affair with Elvis. But even though it might seem like a dream come true to be with a famous rock star, it was actually a nightmare for Joyce. Elvis made it super clear that he wasn't into mothers, and he definitely wasn't looking for anything serious with her. He even talked to her about his wife and said that Priscilla changed after they had their daughter. According to Bova's 1994 memoir, Don't Ask Forever, My Love Affair with Elvis, she wrote that she discovered she was pregnant with Presley's child during their three-year romance. She purportedly terminated the pregnancy without Presley's awareness because of his marital status and his lack of interest in mothers. Filled with fear of losing her famous boyfriend, Joyce Bova faced a tough decision of choosing between her unborn child and her love for Elvis Presley. She decided that she needed Elvis more than their baby and underwent an abortion. She kept the news of her pregnancy a secret from Elvis until after the procedure was done. It was a difficult time for her, as she had to avoid the musician for a few weeks after the abortion. Their relationship, unfortunately, didn't last long. Bova ended things with Presley just before he divorced his wife, as the musician's habits was on the rise. However, there was a silver lining as she eventually moved on and tied the knot with Mark Cameo, an engineer and fellow ballroom dancer. After their breakup, she spoke with Elvis only occasionally. Do you really believe that Elvis Presley lost interest when his lovers became mothers? We'd love to know your comments and opinions. Comment your answers and opinions below in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to give us a like. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and subscribe for more content like this. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on our next